Welcome to Finnish Leveke. A common procedure that we perform for your pets is surgical dissexing. This procedure is recommended to prevent unwanted pregnancies and reduce the risk of unwanted hormonal behaviors. These can include aggression, roaming, and also dissexing can reduce the risk of certain cancers. This video was filmed at our Rosebud Clinic, one of our five locations on the Mornington Peninsula. Our other locations include Dramana, Mount Eliza, Rye, and Mornington, where we also have an emergency and referral hospital. When you and your beloved pet come into the clinic for dissexing, it is necessary to have your dog or cat fasted since dinner the previous evening. So no breakfast. This is necessary as the drugs we use during the procedure can make your pet feel nauseous and vomit, which under anesthesia could lead to complications. Pre-anesthetic bloods. These can be taken and assessed in the clinic to determine whether your pet's body, including their kidneys and liver, are functioning correctly. Another way which we ensure anesthetic safety is intraoperative intravenous fluids. When your pet is asleep, they have reduced ability to maintain their own blood pressure. IV fluids are one way that we can ensure your pet's blood pressure stays strong and they get home to you safely and as soon as possible. IV fluids are highly recommended in patients over seven years of age and in smaller pets. Your pet will be examined before the procedure to ensure that he or she is healthy and ready for surgery. If your pet has any underlying illness or sickness, this can increase the risk of anesthetic complications, which can include prolonged recovery or time or waking up, once satisfied that your pet is as healthy as they can be, we will give them a pre-medication drug dose. This contains a sedative and extra strong pain relief so that they're ready for surgery. Once the pre-medication has taken effect, we will place your pet under a general anaesthetic, which is a deep pain-free sleep so that the surgery can be performed. To do this, we place a catheter into your pet's leg to administer the drugs, and then we place an ET tube or an endotracheal tube to make sure they can safely breathe oxygen throughout the procedure. For boys, the surgery includes the removal of their testicles through one incision in front of their scrotum. For girls, the surgery includes the removal of their uterus and ovaries through one incision through their belly or abdomen. If you're interested, we also provide laparoscopic surgery at our referral hospital in Mornington. If you're interested, please give us a call and we can discuss this option with you. The surgery site, surgeon, theatre and instruments are kept aseptic, which means incredibly clean and we do this to ensure that the wound heals as quickly and as safely as possible without the need for antibiotics. Once the procedure is complete, the surgery site is closed with sutures and this will take at least 10 days to heal. Your pet is then woken up and moved to the recovery stage. Our vets and nurses keep a very close eye on your pet after their procedure to make sure their recovery is as smooth and gentle as possible. Once your pet is awake and alert, we will call you to make sure he or she gets home and comfortable and warm as soon as they are ready. Once your dog or cat is awake enough, one of our vets or vet nurses will go through the discharge instructions with you. This will include pain relief for your pet over the next few days to make sure they're as comfortable as possible and also the use of an Elizabethan collar to prevent your pet from licking at the wound as this can cause swelling and infections post-surgery. These sutures need to stay in place for 10 to 14 days. Please make sure that you keep a close eye on the wound and if you have any questions about your pet being dissexed, please give our friendly team a call. We hope to see you soon at Peninsula Vet Care. No animals were harmed during the filming of this video. However, Harry did lose his testicles. Thank you.